Yo, yo, my name is Nick, and I like the snow. I run things at Big Bear Weather and Mo. From the peaks to the valleys, I'm in the know, bringing you the forecast wherever you go. Oh yeah, did I mention that I have a site? BigBearWeatherMore.com. Oh baby, that's right. Always make sure you tune into the live and like my videos and subscribe. <laughs>
have done a lift but i figure if i had it done properly i probably wouldn't have any issues right like yeah, yeah. so i'm always wondering about other people's lifts like do, do they go through the same issues i go through but, yeah yeah, we'll check it out. Maybe do a walk around. Sure. That'd be awesome. I've got a soft top for it. It never came with a hard top. Oh, okay. But then I gotta have a tire carrier on the rear here, which is pretty handy. You can mount your gas cans and your yeah, tire. Yeah, I can see you got a couple it's heavy duty. Tiny little gas cans back there, dude. Well, I mean, not tiny, but like just thin. I haven't seen cans like that before. Yeah, dude. I'm excited about this. I'm a little bit nervous, guys, but I'm excited about this. I brought, I bought a few different clamps and mounts for, for the GoPro, but we'll see. We'll see if those work. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So he's gonna. I think we're about ready to. Start cruising. We're not ready. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready for this, but this is the first part of the trail, guys. Back here is where everyone's parked, ready. So there's this this fence here, but this is what we have to go up first. Can you believe this? I can't believe this. So I told them, you know what, <laughs> dude? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. This is freaky. So he's gonna take his truck over these huge rocks right here and going around this fence. I, I just I just can't believe it honestly. But look at this beautiful view out here. Guys, this is crazy. Are you serious? Like Oh my gosh. I mean, look at this. I mean, come on, guys. This is crazy. He's really going to go Go over all that. Ready I'm ready to rock, bro. Right. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna put on my rockers. I don't know how you could cheat doing this, guys. This is crazy. This is absolute. No. <laughs> Look at. Holy crap! You gotta be kidding me. Are you sure about this, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you ready to do the rest? Oh, let's do this. Oh my gosh, bro. This is a little bit hairy. I am a little bit nervous here. <laughs> Guys, can you believe that? Holy smokes. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, you get man. this epic, beautiful scenery here in Big Bear. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely beautiful. Yeah, this is a trail I've never been on before, so I'm super excited about it. There's a lot to see here. Backs here. Oh yeah, my is... god, dude. Oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> dude. Holy smokes, man. So, airing down the tires like that um, helps you to absorb a lot of the bumps, so it makes it kind of squishy. So, you've, you've had so much experience, you know approximately where your air's at from just all the times you've aired them down. And... Right? The air deflators are set at, oh. uh, I have them set right now at 20 pounds. Oh, so uh, those will slow down their, 
they they'll stop uh, deflating when the tire gets down to 20. Oh, meters. that's great. Yeah, okay. so you can calibrate them. That's great, man. But yeah, this is just a beautiful trail. We're gonna do a series of switchbacks here, um, and you know, really ascend uh, toward the summit here pretty quickly. So guys, Matt has been a friend of the channel for a little while now, but funny enough, he had the same last name as a gentleman I grew up with, but I thought there's no way they could be related, and it, it's, it's just, that's too small of a world. And, uh, <laughs> but funny enough, he's my old buddy's older brother. Couldn't believe it, from Newport Beach, so just trip me out. I feel ultra comfortable with Matt just, just because of that. But uh, he's also a really nice human being. Really cool dude. Thanks, Nick. Well, it's, it's true, man. You're very welcome. Thank you for this. Dude, this is nuts. I think that's a, is that the airport? No. No, the airport's back down that way to the right. That's some sort of a water purification plant area. Yeah, the airport's in between Division and Greenway. We will be back down that, that way. Okay. We'll be cutting down, you know, west or, or wherever that is. Southwest. I can't believe the first part of this trail, bro. Oh my god. Are you serious about well, this? Usually I'll tell you what, let's do the this part is a little, a little more fun right here. Okay. We're gonna cut. You're crazy, dude. Are you sure we're okay? I think so. You think so? Oh god, guys, this is... <laughs> dude, oh my gosh. That was easy peasy, bro. Totally easy. You know, when you deflate your tires like that, you have a little bit of a bigger patch. <laughs> Got a motorcycle coming up behind us. Oh, nice. Nice. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's courageous. Oh, we got another one. shaking uh, oh that's great yeah so when we're watching this it'll look like it's on a flat mount the gyro or whatever yes, it's called yes yeah yeah like uh, yeah you're gonna need it on this trail dude this thing is oh, smokes bro <laughs> yeah I wish I had the drone the drone has a badass feature where I can have it focus on the truck and then just let it go. And it'll just follow the truck the whole time. Yeah, and, my buddy And it'll that stay too. safe. Yeah. No, it's great. And it's great for this type of activity because, you know, as a driver, you can, <laughs> solo driver, you can set it up, you know, yourself. Guys, it took me nine years to do something like this up here, but finally. Exactly, and that's why I kind of suggested it. I would take you out, you know, at some point. There's so much to see up here in Big Bear. You know, I grew up uh, skiing up here. Come up here every winter, and you know, just love it. And, um, and then, you know, maybe about five years ago, I discovered off-roading, and of course, you know, naturally, there's so many trails here in Big Bear. So we, uh, so I come up here a lot. Are there a lot of trails closer to home, like over by Saddleback and stuff like that? There's a few. Yeah, you can take a trail up to the summit of uh, Saddleback Mountain. Nice. We've done that. It's kind of a flat trail. It's not like this. Yeah. Wow, look at that view. 
and that's um, that's Bear Mountain Resort. That is Bear. Yeah, yep, that's that is Bear, Bear, and then Summit will be just to correct. the right of it. That is absolutely there's correct. There's still some snow over there. Yeah, there's the, at, at the summit. Yeah, there's still a nice chunk of snow up there. Yeah, I hope my arm is helping with the stabilization because this video is going to be awesome. <laughs> I gotta figure out a great title, you know, because I want people to click on it, you know? Oh, yeah. Because this is definitely worthwhile. Oh, for sure. I can never call any of my other videos off-roading ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. You might have to do this in the snow. Oh, dude, that's... that's... <laughs> Would you do it? I've done it. No way. <laughs> no way. Yeah, it's pretty... pretty scary. I'll bet. It's already a bit hair, hair, hair raising right now. I can, I can imagine in the snow. It's just so, you know, this, this time of the year, there's a lot of really beautiful vegetation and spring flowers. Sure. Get all the different color, blue and green vegetation with the red rock, blue sky. And over on this side here, there's a... Oh, look at this little area. Serving this area here, a um, restoration area. Very cool. Sensitive species restoration area. Wow, this is really neat up here. It's a nice spot to go camping. Yeah, you don't want to camp in there because they're um, protecting the plants. Oh, okay. Right on that okay. Side, so that's why they've got um, these signs and fences. Yeah, but you can basically camp anywhere else on this trail anytime. coming down it's gonna be not as rocky okay okay not yeah, good because I was I was just thinking I'm glad you brought that extra toilet paper <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna need it huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll call it a blooper once it goes out. <laughs> oh. Alright guys, this is enough poop All right. jokes. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna cut back. There's a great view. The... Yeah, that's a spectacular view right there. Holy moly. Uh, we'll get up a little bit here, but that's um, you know, there's uh Bear Mountain Resort in the foreground, and in the background, that's actually the San Gorgonio. Yep, yep. In that, the background, that, peeking out there. Yep, just peeking out. So it's kind of an illusion. It is, and then huh? There's Snow Summit. We'll get a better shot of Snow Summit in a few minutes. Yep, San Gorgonio still has a load of snow. I, know, I was just thinking that. Middle of May. You know, some, some years they'll have year round snow up there. Not uh, really. Yeah, in, in, in some of the, the really shady areas. Well, there. and I've noticed that before. I was trying to figure out if that's just like sand, like a sandy, rocky area that looks like snow, or is that really actually snow? So I think the area you're talking about, I think I know where you're talking about. That's not snow, but there okay. there are certain shady areas up there that that will keep snow year round, like uh, form form that ice into a, a small little glacier, you know. This is pretty. Holy smokes. That's awesome, bro. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I can't believe those guys on the dirt bikes, man. Yeah, they're bombing it. I mean, I can't imagine the experience level to be able to tear this thing up. Like, I couldn't ride a dirt bike here. No way. I charge on my Harley all the time. You know, and. <laughs> and ride that thing like a champ, but I, I could never do this road on a dirt bike. You can't do you can't do this road on the Harley, <laughs> dude. 
You know what? If I did, I, I should win like $10 million. <laughs> So this, those couple video clips you sent me a couple weeks ago of you you doing this, where were you where you went through that like narrow little canyon? Well, that was uh, from Calico. Okay. So we um, we did the prospectors crawl. That's put on by oh my gosh, who does that? That's the I think they're at a Lancaster. Don't quote me on that. Bakersfield. Okay. okay. Uh, and those guys put that on. That was a ton of fun. I highly recommend you do that. And they did the uh, Duran, um, the Duran Odessa loop. That was the first time I had done that. And that was just epic. So did you have to take any type of a course to teach yourself how to do this? <laughs> Be um, honest. No. No, no damn. Questions. Well, good. Just Great. lots of practice. Great for you then. Yeah, I don't, it, it's, especially with a manual, I have a six speed manual. So it's just a lot of it's technique, taking the right line. And, you know, something that I can do, make it look easy, is really hard for a beginner. And by the appearance of the outside of your Jeep, uh, <laughs> you've, you've, you've kept it on at least two tires. <laughs> so far, I've almost rolled it a couple of times, so I've gotten lucky. But I'm not too crazy. I mean, I'm a, I, from, from what I can see, I, it probably doesn't get way too much crazier than what we've done on this road already without oh. being super dangerous, or does it get a lot crazier? Uh, a couple spots. Okay. It's kind of crazy. Look at this, guys. Holy freaking smokes. Yeah, so this is a couple of whoop de doos here. Kind of tests your articulation on your suspension, so it'll kind of feel funny. <laughs> like a glove, bro. Yeah, isn't that cool? Seriously. Uh, it's the best feeling in the world. No, I can't. To be able to just kind of sail over that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I definitely. Right, this. Um, Oh Coming up here God. to kind of the first obstacle besides the gatekeeper. This is crazy, dude. If I saw this, I'd be in tears, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you must be tripping out. Dude, I'm, I, I'm just like, what are, what are we doing? There's two ways to do this. You can either go at a, get all off camber and go up that way. Yeah. Or you can cut around this way and go up this little step area here. So if you're gonna go up this gnarly area, let me get out so I can record you. Okay. Yeah? Sounds good. I'm not gonna do the super gnarly one. Oh. Just because we're alone. But. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> we have five trucks behind us. Uh, yeah. Do not let me influence you, Matt. Please. <laughs> okay. Please, dude. I just think you are just the bee's knees, bro. Okay, so where are you going? Go stand up at the top. Okay. All right, guys, this guy is crazy. I love him. Absolutely love him. I used to have a really bad view about these trucks when I was in my teens and early 20s. Um, like, uh, 
you know, you were a little light in the loafers if you were driving a Wrangler. Like right. a, 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 a standard. Dude, this is as manly of a truck as I've ever seen or ridden in, in my entire life. Yeah, it's it's um, all those old school connotations were so 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 off, bro. Yeah, this, this is a really fun platform uh, to build off of. There's so many things you can do with it, and um, so no, it's a lot bro. of fun. No, 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 you're, you're you're not going there, are you? Yeah. No, bro. <laughs> all right, guys. So I think what I'm gonna have you do is go just maybe stand up up above there. For like, sure. And then I'll show you. We're gonna go lockers on this one. Okay, let me exit. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is fantastic. Guys, I hope you are happy with this video. <laughs> oh, and my chest is killing me from uh, just from all the bouncing back and forth. I want to see him get up this part first. I can't believe he's going up up that. No way. God dang, man. He'll make it. He'll make it. Yeah! <laughs> no way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe it. I really can't believe it. This part's going to be gnarly too. Alright. A little bit slippery. Dude, I, I just... It just doesn't look like that's even possible. <laughs> Sometimes it's not, especially when it's snowing, it's real hard. Yeah, so. Snowing or raining, it's virtually, it's difficult to get up that. So you made it through there in the snow though? Not going up. Okay. Yeah, but coming, I've gone the other way coming down. I see. Dude, I'm gonna enjoy watching this video so much. Like this is I am oh, too. so awesome, yes. bro. Have you ever done a video like this? Um, no, but I've wanted to. I've watched many videos like this for years, and you know, here we are. Dude, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bringing it to the, the friends of Big Bear Weather and More. Amen. Amen. Appreciate you guys. You hear that, guys? That's, that's Matt wrapped up into a ball right there. He's just a nice guy. Well, like I said, I've been coming up here for since I was a, in high school, you know, skiing. And now, especially I'm up here all the time, we go off-roading. So, especially during the winter, I love, you know, watch all of your videos so I can catch up on the latest of, you know, the, the weather conditions. You know, how much did it actually really snow? Yes, <laughs> exactly, and, actually. And I get to see that real sense. time, you know? Yeah, thanks, man. I, I, I enjoy doing it. Something that was ultra frustrating when I first moved up here was watching the news stations and all the hyperbole about how much snow there was or wasn't, and it was never accurate. And, and we'd get a lot of angry tourists who would take time off work, drive up here because they expected feet of brand new snow, and there's nothing, just rain or... So yeah, that's something that my channel does. It's, it's really good for that. That's actually a really good point. Trust you, Nick. Yeah, because yeah. you're, you're right there. You're you're at the scene, and I you're, don't you're, edit. You don't edit. That's <laughs> what we're discovering here. Hopefully, you edit some of this. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, getting beat up here a little bit. Yeah, this is an exercise, man. Without even having to. Yeah, like, it, I'm, it's exhausting. It really is. It really is. 
my chest is feeling it. <laughs> I think that's from the shotguns yesterday, though. Oh, yeah, that might have something to do with it. I hadn't shot a, a shotgun other than one time in my entire life <laughs> when, when I was in my late teens, and I probably shot 60 rounds yesterday. Oh, yeah. All different types of uh, shotgun? shells. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, from like huge slugs to all these other types. Oh, yeah, man. I, I got to shoot this really badass rifle. Man, it was, it was epic. It was epic. You may want to recline your seat forward a little bit. So that's what I was trying to do. Yeah. Try to do that a little bit. That way you're not reaching forward. Just try it. Can you maybe? There we go. There. Just that, try that. Uh, if that's that's so much better, dude. Yeah, I was trying to do that, but it didn't come up, and I yeah. I, I, I didn't want to. Because we're going press the issue, you know. <laughs> no, even down at the bottom. Oh. Yeah. So, for someone to be able to at least get the basic setup going to be able to do a trail like this, what do you think they would have to invest just for the basic, like the basic upgrades? What would somebody have to do? Oh gosh, for this trail, I mean, honestly, you may be able to, you could pretty much do this trail in a stock Jeep Wrangler, you know, Rubicon, or probably even a Sport. Uh, I forget what size tires they have, 30, I think 30 inch tires, okay. maybe 32s or 33s, but uh, you can probably do that. I mean, that's the great thing about, you know, the Jeeps or that, they're very, very, very cute. Yeah, clearly, clearly very cute. Holy smack, we are way up here. Oh. Wow, look at the desert view right there. That side. Yeah. Of that. We'll have another oh, that is so beautiful. It's like Johnson Valley. Yep. Down there. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. That's like on, on your way to a Yucca. And then look at Baldwin Lake. And yeah. It's full. Oh, you shoot. Know, that, the water that, that is Baldwin right there. Yeah. Wow, guys. Wow. I'm not used to seeing those mountains behind Baldwin's Hills either. So that looks really, really pretty. Yeah, that's a whole another wilderness back there. We might have to do we might have to do that trail. All right, let's go up this thing. Oh god guys look at this. Oh my gosh. Hold on over here just in case. <laughs> <laughs> here we go again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy right. huh? We're back. We're we're back. We overheated on the battery. Right on the right on a good part. Right on a great part. <laughs> Whoa. Woo! God, that's such a cool feeling, man. Isn't that great? It's such a great feeling. Yeah. yeah. preserve the trails for our future generations yes if we abuse them uh, then you know they can get taken away Woo! Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> dude that was epic great was job great, great uh, yeah. job man. we gotta manage that <laughs> that was no lockers so when you say lockers what does that mean? Okay, so I have electronic lockers. Uh, basically, it's an electronic system that will lock your front or, or rear or both at the same time, your differentials on your axles to keep the wheels spinning at the same time so that you know if one wheel breaks loose, uh, you won't lose traction. Okay. So it's an ideal function that you want to have if you're, you know, uh, going up something that's slippery or you're going to lose traction on potentially, you want to, whether it's mud or ice or snow or, you know, dusty rock like this, uh, sometimes you want to use your waters. Making progress here, we're just... Hot again, come on, camera. It is what it is. I'll, I'll just have to keep on switching 
<clears throat> I kind of wanted to stop here. There's a neat view. Oh, there's sand. You know, there's um, Snow Summit. I don't know if you can see that, yep, but yep. You know, almost all the snow gone there. And it looks like such a tiny. And there's the airport. Here. Yep, there's the airport right there. Below. So this is a view for the viewers. Yeah. That they don't <laughs> yeah. get to normally see. Yes. Yes, absolutely. That is great. And then as we pass it, you'll see Sugarloaf up in the hills right there. Oh. Where's that, Nick? Oh, you see those yep. those lines up there? Those are the streets. Cool. Yep, those are the streets. Hope the camera can pick that up. I hope so too. We have it in one of its its best modes for uh, for resolution and stuff. So hopefully. Hopefully we did. That's another reason why it's overheating quickly. It shouldn't though, because it's a GoPro and it's it's one of the new ones. So it shouldn't be so so shoddy like that. But look at this rock. Yeah. So we're gonna pick it up now with this type of I don't know what you call it, quartz. <clears throat> but no, All the history here with the gold mining in the mid, you know, uh, 1800s, the late 1800s, when uh, Bill Holcomb discovered gold. Wow, you know your history. You know your history in this area. Oh, it's just That's spectacular history. It really is. You know, the Holcomb Valley there. Used to, there used to be, I think there was a population of 1,500, I heard. City there, and you know, there's really no sign of it now. Yeah, there's like those two, two or three cabins. Yeah, that's in that that cabin has only recently been built. It's just oh of, really? Um, yeah, okay. it's, it's not you know an old, from the 1800s. It's, I think it was built 30 years ago. It's so sad that there really isn't much of a uh, a, a mark on history up there. You know, it, it, it is sad, and I, I thought about it because. You know, maybe in the desert it doesn't snow as much, but here, you know, maybe the conditions are more harsh. It snows and breaks down the, the old uh, wooden cabins. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so much worse. Yeah, for for anything you build up here. And we're getting to, to the top here. Wow, wow, guys. You want to know something? I I learned when I was shooting yesterday is one of the guys was saying that the Mitsubishi plant, which was right across the street, they, uh, with all their mining that they do for, for, or for, for what they make, they get enough gold to pay the whole electric bill every month for that whole place. What, what, what are they mining for specifically? Um, do you know? They told me yesterday and I can't remember. So you're saying that they're mining for something else. Yeah, but they just come across gold and it's enough gold where they to pay for the electricity. The whole electric bill for that place every month, which very has to be thousands and thousands and oh, thousands wow. and thousands of dollars. Very interesting. Yeah, very cool. Huh? So um, this is, uh, oh, you, know, you can see the back desert. Yes. It's like Lucerne Valley. Yep, yep. There. Great shot. So you know a video I would love us to do sometime and I'll buy lunch when we get down there <laughs> is take from up here the off-road down to Lucerne Valley. Um I I, sure. I, I don't know what there's it's called, of, but well there's a couple I hear ways. a lot of people always talking about it. Yeah, there's basically there's Rattlesnake Canyon is one way to get down. Um and then there's um co was it called Coxie Truck Trail? There's another way to get down, although I know Coxie Truck Trail that runs through a private property, which is typically open. Uh, it's a, that's a beautiful drive. And uh, Rattlesnake Canyon, that might run through a private property also. Don't quote me on that. But those are kind of two, those are your most direct ways to get down the very back. Another fun way to get down is, um, what's that called? Uh, it's by the lake and that's uh, Pilot Truck um, Rock Trail, I believe it's called. It's a fun one. It takes you from the lake, Silverwood Lake. Uh, oh yeah, I love Silverwood area. Love straight it. Straight up to the backside of Lake Arrowhead. Oh, nice. Yeah, and that's that's a spectacular uh, scenery down here. Yeah, you're you're extraordinarily knowledgeable about 
our area, and it, it makes me feel a bit pathetic of my <laughs> lack of knowledge when it comes to this area. You know, like I, I moved up here to be totally honest, just for the snow, not for the mountains, not for the lake, not for the off-road, not for the people, just to be in snow because when I'm suffering my depression, the snow makes me feel really, really good. And uh, I've started to fall in love with more and more stuff up here. Like, like this is changing my whole opinion on the whole off-road scene. Now I know why people will invest a ton of money and come spend time up here to do this. This is so epic. Seeing spots I'd never be able to see. Even on foot, it would be hard to walk up here, you know? I think. Well, Big Bear, I, I think this mountain is just a treasure. There's just so much to see here. You got the lake, you know, you got the history with the gold mining. Um, you've got, you know, down by, you can take Burns Canyon, and that takes you, I guess, east. Down, down to Pioneer Town. Yes. Uh, and and through there, there's just that's where all the Joshua trees are, and that that's a whole nother spectacular, you know, scenery. So there's the the off roading gives you the ability to go and kind of just get away and explore and, and be in nature. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know, there's there's a lot of resources, like you said. There's or maybe we didn't say, but there are a couple of designated um, shooting areas where you can go and sh you know shoot your rifles and pistols uh, and shotguns. Yes. Uh, and others, <laughs> but uh, and that's free, you know. Uh, and you can only do that. You want to make sure you're not doing that during the fire season. They when it gets you know the um, like the extreme. Yeah, when it starts yeah. getting hot, and even even before that, they'll they'll shut it down. Like if it's just pretty much, I think almost every year, and they uh, the forest forestry they they'll shut it down. So make sure you're you know obeying that rule and not abusing that. A hundred percent. Just like you said, we need to obey all of these rules because we're very lucky to have a situation yeah. like this and this available for us. And they could shut it down and and take it away anytime. Okay, so we got two ways we can go. There's two ways we can go. There's the rock garden here, uh, which, <laughs> yeah, this is the boneyard. And they call it the boneyard because when you go through it, it sounds like breaking bones. It has kind of a unique um, sound to it. Um, you know, I guess we could try it out, right? I'm, I'm down. But so, I think I'm going to go through a different area here. We're going to go through a different entrance. Okay. And then come back out that way? Uh, it's just another entrance that it's a little bit of a higher area here. Well, I like getting higher. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where that is. Keep them guessing. Keep them guessing. <laughs> <laughs> guys are having fun so far yeah guys I hope you're really really enjoying this this is I can't imagine you guys are asleep at the wheel right now <laughs> yeah definitely not <laughs> I have to say you guys not just to kiss Matt's butt but I think this is probably my favorite video that I've made since I've lived up here what honest to goodness dude yeah yep my out of all 3600 videos really Thanks, Nick. You're welcome, man. It's, Holy it, cow, that's an honor. No, this is... This I knew you'd like it. This is, yeah. It had to be done. It's this type of stuff where there's danger involved <laughs> that is more <laughs> enjoyable. And obviously, when I'm driving around in, in, in the deep snow, there's some danger involved too, but not like yeah, this. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. It, it is dangerous. And um, <laughs> this is not, maybe not quite as dangerous as this. No, not even close. Not even close. Let's have you listen to this... Uh, all right, guys, listen to the rocks.
view way up here. Wow. So the question is, next time you guys are skiing at the resort, you gotta look across at the mountain range and see if you can see this big rocky portion. There's a couple of them up on the hill, but no, this, this is, is toward this the is. summit here. Do you think this is all stuff from like mining? You know, a lot of people, I've heard some um, off-roaders maybe speculate, specifically I think Brad on uh, Trail Recon speculated that this might be the tailings from mining, but there's a lot of these different kind of patches up here and the way that this stuff breaks down, and I just suppose that over time, um, it's it's eroded and, and created this. Okay. So it's I, I think it's natural. That's, That's a, just my opinion. What do I know? Hey man. What do you guys think? Yeah, guys. Put it in the comments below. Let us below. know in the comments. What do you think? Is this natural or is this from Tailings. the uh, from the trash of of the mining? Tailings from mining. Tailings from mining. Most tailings are a lot smaller. Than this. They have these big boulders like this in the tailings. Right? They're not going to run into this and stuff. The bonkers to do. Good point. Good point. Good point. That's the boneyard. Guys, that was the boneyard. How do you guys like that? And we aren't done yet. We got this, yeah. this little rough little patch right here, too. Well, well there's. <laughs> rough, rough for others. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. There's, there's some rough stuff coming up. A little bit of rough stuff coming up. There's actually at the top here, there's like a pivot point, which a lot of people get stuck in. But not me. Not us. All right, and then this part here is pretty steep. I I like to uh, think that this might be one of the steepest parts of the trail, but I don't know, you tell me. It's <laughs> so coming up around this trail. Okay. Right All right. Oh my gosh, this part right here just looks hairball right here. Yeah, it does. Holy it's, smokes. That's gotten a lot, really dug out. So we'll just go over it. <laughs> right? Amen. Again, that feels so good. Isn't that awesome? It's such a great feeling, man. Like, ah. I, I, I love the feeling. I, I love it. Um, I mean, just that alone will, will keep you coming back. Yeah, it, there's a hundred hundred other reasons why. Yeah. It, it does keep you coming back. Oh, shit. And the darn thing is that I, I keep wanting to up it. So yeah, yeah. You know, how much more, much more money do I have to spend to keep upgrading my vehicle and getting into bigger rocks? <laughs> I mean, as long as you're, you know, not putting your life on the line and being calculated about everything. But I guess when it's your first time doing a new trail, you know, I, that's just the risk you take, I guess. Well, you know, I don't know if we've said this yet, but normally you wouldn't do this alone. So, um, I'm like a little bit of a hypocrite telling you guys to do this, don't do this alone, yet here we are. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the reality is we can we can walk out of here, right, Nick? If we yeah. Broke, if we break down. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and, and when we got six or seven big-ass trucks yeah. right behind us, too. That's true. And th th that's a great thing about this. Oh, yeah, this gets pretty steep right here. That's a great thing about the community here. Sure. We're kind of having a few problems or something pulled over and helped me, you know, two or three times. Okay. And, you know, I pulled over to help people. So, um, you know, what comes around goes around. Oh, a amen kidding. to that. Look at this. Yeah, that's coming out. I haven't Look seen that this. before. Holy smokes. We actually had to cut this tree right here uh, in the winter time. It had fallen down after the rain season. It was walking the trail. There was a bunch of us up here. So we had to, we had to use the winch. Yeah. And a uh, Let's see. Um, yeah. So that's that's Maple. That that road right there is Maple. Is that? okay. That's the high school. That little square right there, and then in the hills you can't see the street lines from this angle anymore. But yeah, I'm looking directly at Sugarloaf right up there. 
Okay. And uh, it's cool. Yeah, dude, totally. There's cool. a baseball stadium. Yes. Baseball field yep. Right yep. Yep. That's for the high school right there. Okay. That's for the high school. I guess I didn't need to buy all these clamps, huh? But it's nice to have them. Send them back. No. <laughs> and I've got five other GoPros, so if we ever did want to do some some editing, we could. I could attach a GoPro all over the car. Yeah. Or sorry. Well, that's what I thought you were gonna do. Oh. Okay. Well, unfortunately. But you, but of course, you don't edit. Yeah. So it'd be like a seven-hour video. Kind of like my old Harley videos. I'd have five cameras on there, and I'd pass them all together. And oh, you would. It'd be like a seven-hour video. Yeah. It's so funny because <laughs> that was the first thing I ever seen. <laughs> yeah. I need to update my playlists. I just started making them a year ago. And since I have so many videos, it would probably help, help my channel a lot. Look at that, man. Are we really going up this? Holy smokes. <laughs> Dang, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm running 35 inch tires, by the way. Um, my rig is built, I have these kind of higher line fenders that allow me to run uh, 37 inch tires and you know I'm, my drive line is set up for that. Uh, so I might go through that next time, but oh, with these 35s, yeah I'll probably do 37 inch tires. These 35s do the job, it looks like. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's one of the KO2s. Hold on. Sure. Oh boy. You gotta let me get out to like, yeah, all right. just to record this part. Because uh, this is kind of a pivot point here where a lot of people get stuck. So we'll see, I don't know which way I'm going to go. Yeah, with. well, we're not a lot of people. <laughs> no. I got, I got the ham rock with me. <laughs> All right, hang on, guys. Okay, just take a look at this. Trying to bust my ankle running up here. Hop in. Hop in. Did you hear that little love cow in the rear? No. Oh, you hear that. Was that like a? a... Oh, I hit the hit the rock oh. on the on the bumper. It makes it... All right, guys. So according to Matt, this... we are just about at. At the top, we, I think this is the top. Or this right. is the top. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I've looked at it on the map, and I, I think uh, I think this is it. And I, I should be running. There's a couple of uh, different. You know, there's like the summit is right up there. Okay. Actually, wow. Get yeah, a little bit closer. Um, <clears throat> you know, another bit of information that uh, you know your viewers who don't off-road might be interested in knowing is that there are apps that you can download um, such as uh, I guess one of them is Onyx I don't use that one there's also um, Gaia apps G-A-I-A -A. I, I, I use that I just have a free version there's all trails that's another one that's actually the one that got me started but you know, those are free apps you can download, and they ha already have a, you know, what is it, what is it called, a cookie, cookie trail, cookie crumb trail. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. So they already have a line that takes you through Gold Mountain so that you know where the heck you're at for the first time if you're up here alone. Like you guys this. get that? Mark that down because it's uh, not only going to help you on your off-road adventures, but it could be the difference between uh, survival and not because it it'll... Big, sorry, big survival. time. So. Okay, so here it is. Here, I don't know if you want to show this, Nick. Sure. I don't know if they sure. can see it, but I'll zero in. Look at this tree. That thing's freaking huge. But th these are the previous times I've I've been. I don't know if the viewers can see that. Let's see if I can see it through through here. Yes, I can see it. But you can see that I've been. I've already mapped this trail before. 
So here we are here, and I, I think that's the summit. Okay. Okay. So I think that's what it says. I can't see it from here. But okay. Yeah, Gold Mountain. What is that? Uh, so I can just follow this trail because I've been on here before. Yeah. Nice. And <clears throat> and uh, without phone service. Correct. It's a like a GPS. That's fantastic. The, you, so you guys, you have no excuses now. Yeah. Get up here and enjoy life. It took me nine years to do something like this up here and I am just kicking myself in the <laughs> patoot because I haven't done this yet. Now I'm excited. Matt said uh, we can do a little YouTube series for the channel on these drives so that's going to be pretty awesome guys so get ready. Get ready. Why not? Heck yeah right? Why not exactly? <clears throat> and thank you because that's going to be amazing content. Yeah I mean there's, there's actually there's a lot of different places you can go to. Have you been to Butler Peak? Um, I, I've, I've hiked halfway up. Okay. So no, I have not. We can get up to the top there too? You, you, you <laughs> should. I mean, That's I would awesome recommend though. that you do. I have not been up there yet because it, the last couple of years, it seems like they had closed it for some period of time, like through the winter. So I just could never get up there. But I'd like to check it out. Can the truck make it up there? Uh, my understanding is that you can only drive so far and then you have to hike the final, the final the final area. Yeah, that rock sound is awesome. Gosh, I was here, um, I think it was last weekend or the weekend before, and this, we're getting, this is basically the summit here. And, um, you know, it hasn't rained in a while, but this whole area was just freeze or frost burnt or whatever wow. you want to call it. Wow. I mean, it was just like a, a, you know, freezing storm came through here and uh, it was just, the sun was out and, uh, you know, it was just sparkling. It was just a really neat scene, you know, kind of surreal to be up here and, and, and witness that. But you get that a lot, you know, with the seasons. All right, so here's another little tricky area. Get to this, basically into the summit here. This one, guys. It's a little bit tricky. You gotta take a look Why don't you let me hop out for this one? Sure. Okay. Not, not that I'm. No. Not that I'm a wuss. Go ahead. It's because I think this would be an awesome capture. I know you're afraid of rolling over. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm, I'm not even tripping on it. I promise. Maybe a little bit, but not, not as bad as you would think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. We're gonna... what it's made for. Oh, let's just check this out. What happened? They, no, they stacked a bunch of rocks. I'm just making sure I'm... You just tell me what I need to do, okay? Oh, yeah. No, you're good. I'm gonna do a walk around as well. Oh. We got clearance clearance over here. <clears throat> but then again, I don't know what the heck I'm even looking for, so. Well, you know, with all the rocks, the rocks that they stand, uh, it makes it slippery. Yeah, seriously guys. I mean look at look at how gnarly this is. You're the man! Yeah, you just want to make sure you're not banging up your, your drive shaft or your axles. It's a little bit of a tricky area. Hey, girl. 
Uh, oh, scheiße. Yeah, so let me make sure I'm not dropping anything out the pockets. Thanks for holding that for me, brother. For sure. The camera, guys, the camera. Thank you, sir. Right. Oh, dude, this is well, this is epic. So Seriously. this is pretty much it to the summit. You really did a great job. You 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 drove all that like it was nothing. Yeah, I've I've been through here a lot of times, so I kind of know already what to do. But I'm probably making it look you know a little bit easier than what it really is. If you were given one chance someone said the last you can go on one more run in the big bear area and never ever again <laughs> would would this be the one that, that you would choose oh man maybe uh yeah maybe just because it's probably more sentimental um you know to me sure uh, it's my, kind of my always been my favorite trail although john bull holcomb creek you know those are those are awesome trails too you gotta see those but yeah, there's just, this really, um, this trail really represents, you know, a lot of the beauty up here in, in, in Big Bear. So yeah, the summit's right be, kind of behind us, but on to the right of us. Come up here and we'll have lunch and stop and then continue through here. And then as you're just basically at the top, you start to head down. And you get a couple of cool glimpses of the of the backside of Big Bear, which yeah. is also very very cool. I love the view from back here. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh well, I, I mean, I, as you know, I've never seen it from right here, but I'm talking just. It's really neat, like in the winter when there's snow on this trail. You know, you see the white snow and, and then the, and the green trees, and then the red desert in the yeah. background. Yeah. Oh, bro. It's just you know, it's really cool. The colors up here just. Spectacular. Yeah, I agree. Incredible. It's funny because when it when it does snow up here, this trail is a lot less bouncy. Oh, it's really? Just nice and smooth because oh, you have yeah. kind of a cushion of snow yeah. you're driving on. So that, that's kind of a neat experience to do this, you know, during the off season. So you get to move the trail. And then that way, you know, if you dare to come. This is the real experience, I would assume then, because with the snow packing, it obviously it's, it's more slick, so it's got its challenges as well. But I would think this is, this is what you would choose to do, or would you choose the winner? Again, if you had a choice, what would you, uh, if you had to choose one? <laughs> Man, um, oh gosh, that's that's a difficult choice. Uh, so they're both probably wonderful. the snow, just because it's wow. just so exciting. Okay. Um, but okay, yeah. fresh snow you have more traction yeah um yep. at that time you know the snow is crystallized and snowflakes are, are, are crystals by nature and <laughs> so a little more crunchier <laughs> yeah and you get a, they, they haven't melted and then re refrozen into an ice cube uh, at that point yes so you know after a couple of days of running over oh, it constantly yeah uh, here's a, here's a Jeep. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is a couple of them. So I'm just gonna pull up here, which... I think they might be letting me. Yeah, you know what, I think they're... Yeah, they're letting me go. They might have a spot right there. That's what it looks like. He's, he's doing what you were gonna do. Yeah. See, I, I'm like, dude, thank yeah, you I mean, so much, dude. You guys rock. Have yeah. a great day. Yeah, you guys have a camaraderie like me and my other Harley riders. It's like we're always exactly. extra good to each other. It's the same know? thing. Yeah. We're all, all here to kind of help each other out. Hey guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
I know you're not a conceited, egotistical fellow, but um, <laughs> do you ever, when you see other Jeeps, think, think, think to yourself, like, My, mine's so much more badass? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, and, I, man. and, and if, if any of these guys who we just passed are, are watching this, I wasn't referring to your Jeeps. I was just thinking about when that. I'm, when I'm mall crawling, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm a badass mall crawler. <laughs> But out here, I mean, there's guys that they'll buy a $80,000 Rubicon, toss on another, you know, $80,000 of uh, aftermarket parts, you know, nice stuff or yeah. more. Yeah. And you know, their 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 bill is you know, it's a big bill. And while I, you know, I'm way over my budget on this thing, but I just kind of like the I like this year, the 2005s, the you know, TJ platform. Uh, I wanted to, again, I didn't want to cut it up and, you know, uh, too much. I wanted to kind of keep it true to all the uh, factory suspension, the geometry on that suspension. Run that for a while and then maybe in the future, you know, I'll go to long arms and, and all that coilovers. But for now, I'm just enjoying it. Um, for how it is so it's just I don't know it just depends where you're at on the food chain again me not having much knowledge about these types of vehicles I just I wouldn't know what else you would actually need it seems oh, like all go, wants at this you point. have no clue oh, you have oh no clue what okay. these guys are doing okay um, yeah they're putting much larger axles um, they're putting you know Hemi swaps engines in there Corvette engines uh, you know 40, 40 inch tires, 42 inch tires, uh, or stretching, stretching them, you know, stretching the front end, stretching the rear end, and cutting out the body. And so there's, it, it goes on and on and on. Um, and I just like having this, this is so capable um, in, in this format right here, and it's, it's original format. I just kind of wanted to honor that. For a little bit, and then maybe in the future, you know, we'll go crazy. All right, so we're coming down, kind awesome. of as you can see, it's starting to <laughs> get a little less rocky here. I think is that right? <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> less rocky, but it still was shaking the living daylights out of it, <laughs> right. which I'm loving it. But this kind of goes fast. I what a cool little trail. It's super cool. It's a lot of fun coming up it. You know, of course, when it when when it snows. Everyone, when you're riding through through this part in particular, it'll feel like you're on Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going faster than I should. Uh, I'm. I'm, yeah, I'm enjoying it. My I'm suspension sure. kind of lets me pick up the speed a little bit here, but sometimes in, I'm in um, rally car mode, and other yeah. times I'm <laughs> rally car mode. just cruising. Yeah, totally. Man. Just depends. And again, guys, I hope I'm, I'm 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 doing the video justice with my arm being the gimbal. I really hope I'm I'm doing a good job. I guess I'll find out sooner than later. But I would hate for this to turn out horrible. I have a feeling it's it's, I think gonna, it's be gonna be spectacular. Be yeah, because yeah. I've taken a lot of videos myself, uh, holding holding my phone. Okay, and they come out just fine. Okay. How long is this trail from top, top uh, to perf, from bottom to bottom? I knew you were going to ask me that, and I meant to look it up. And there's, I think there's a lot of misinformation about the overall length between one end to the other end, right? This is not a not a loop. It's a it's a destination. Yes, yes, yes. And so, don't quote me on it. Something like four or five miles. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it's not too long. That's even a little it, bit. It might, be, it than might I even be as far as seven, but I, I think it's in the four to five mile range. So, 
this area right here, I have seen deer through here many times. They come running, you know, they come through here, and um, I've seen, for whatever reason. That's crazy, because you I've don't been, see a lot of deer on this side of the mountain range. I've seen I mean, two I've, in the I've, nine years that I've lived here. That's it. That's it? Two deer. When, when we had our cabin in Lake Arrowhead, when we would visit, I would see five to 10 just over a weekend. And still that side of the mountain range has a ton more deer. I don't know why our side doesn't doesn't get them as often. Well, I think they're there. They're just not coming through maybe where you normally it. see. Yeah. I, and I'm not saying there's a lot of deer up here, but they, no, I think they have their paths. Yeah. And they come through here, I'll tell you that. And you know, there's hunting season. Um, Take a deer. Uh, last season I saw them. Yeah. Well, they get tags, right? And yeah. They, so, you know, the department that manages that, uh, you know, will issue those tags, and those hunters can go and, and, and take that. They take it for food. I mean, I'm a, a massive carnivore, but like having <laughs> having to do it myself, I would probably end up being a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> Just because of the sadness, like uh, yeah. I, I just because I'm a beep, I'm a little beep about those situations. I would have never made a good hunter, <laughs> but I will sure. If you had to survive, you probably. I've I've thought that too. I would I would probably be a lot more inclined and willing and able. Look at that desert, you guys. Epic. Look at that desert. Pardon, you, my, pardon my reach. Yeah, go ahead. Here, let me see. Oh, thank you. We're gonna. Feel how hot that thing's getting already, oh, yeah. man. It's such a joke. But you can probably see calico out there. Where's calico? Um, probably just straight out that way. It's right off the 15. Right oh. Where Barstow is. Yeah, yeah. You can definitely, definitely see. And all that's the way out another. There. I think those were silver mines out there that those guys were running. But there's a whole ghost town out there. And, and Calico is what not Bart, you know, Walt not bought Calico Ghost Town a long time ago. Okay. And that's where Knott's Berry Farm got their Calico Ghost Town thing it's from from there. But oh. you know, you can camp there. There's there's a old ghost town. You can shop and visit the stores, and then um, you can you can hike and go visit the mines. And then there's these roads. Um, you know, pretty gnarly trails where uh, you can go off road. It's just a ton of fun. Yeah, someday if my channel ever blows up, I'm definitely gonna get myself a vehicle like this <laughs> and uh, start traveling and doing trails and stuff like that. Because yeah, I love being out here in the middle of all this. Yeah. This is this is just so free and so much peace. It really is. It's, it's a lot of fun going with your friends too, like when you have a number of different rigs. Oh yeah, yeah, totally, man. This was a little bit on the last minute, so I couldn't get anybody else to go, but hopefully we can have. Uh... I'm all the friend you need, bro. That's right. <laughs> that's right. All right, guys. So, <laughs> all right, you ready? We're, we're on we're our back. Way. We we're, we are back. We got a new battery. Yep, <laughs> battery overheated again. That was the third time, guys. We're getting pretty much to the bottom here. It goes a little bit quicker on the downside. I think we said because it not as many rocks. And it goes pretty pretty straight down. Just a few switchbacks here. I kind of call this area the sluice. The sluice. Yeah, the last this last section. I call it the sluice. Why is know, that? Just because you know, with a when you're gold mining, oh, uh, when you're gold mining, you use a sluice to catch the gold, right? And it usually looks like something like this. You run the water and your material through the sluice, and it catches yeah. the gold. So it's yeah. just kind of a. It, it's kind of like a. Um, what is that called? A, is that a flume? Was that the old flumes in the log mining days in Northern California? 
where they would go up to the sequoias and fell the trees and and then sent them down these these flumes I think they used to call them where they're running water down this like channel that's what the log ride is okay oh at Knott's, oh. Knott's Berry Farm okay that's what that interesting yeah I don't know if you know that I had no idea oh yeah and that was also I think in you know in the early 1800s they would send these logs all the way down the mountain in these flumes wow. for miles a lot of people died uh, in that operation but there's some really cool history there too Cause it had, or brown because it had so much mud on it. Oh yeah, it Good. was covered. Yeah, man. It's, it's oh yeah, in the winter, especially like you know, not necessarily in the snow, but you know, maybe after the snow rains or just yeah, the, after the snow, all that muddy nasty melts, yeah. and it's just watery, muddy mess. Uh, it, it, it gets it gets covered. Almost to the bottom here. <clears throat> there was a tree right here that fell over the winter, and um, people were going around it there. But it looks like they cleared that out. Was it a? Was it something that? You guys, just winch. Here we go. Here's a couple of motorcycles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's two of them. Oh, I think. Come on, you guys. I think they're. Yeah, there's like kind of hand signals that yeah. these guys are using. Yeah. Oh, for the for the, to for let the us know, like I. So you'll stick up the number of how many fingers are, are behind of, you? Yeah, behind you. Yeah. That is probably the only thing that I'll know of any of these equipments we got today. Where where did you learn that? Um, I think on on, on like the two N ten with uh -huh. a friend of mine because I. In my regular Skyline. car, I can take yeah, I I can take take that one, and uh, I think that's where I had learned when he told me watch out because there's there, there's there's going to be some more cars behind this guy, um, and, and I asked him how did he know, and he said because the guy got it threw up a signal. I'm like wow, that's absolutely yeah. awesome, and I should know these things. Yeah, it helps. You know, you want to communicate. Any extra little bits to stay safe. Well worth it. Almost to the end here. Oh, there's this butterfly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there he is. is again. You know, you always want to be careful with the wildlife. A lot of times, little squirrels. Hey, maybe I can look at him. Yeah. Oh, oh, those oh I thought he was going to land. That would have been cool. Yeah, totally. Totally. There he is. See him? Come hang out with us, buddy. There he is, right there. Yeah. Yeah, he's just riding, riding the wind. He's, yeah, turn. yeah, he's just cruising. Riding the aerodynamic yeah. space. <laughs> I don't want to run him over. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Look. Come inside, buddy. <clears throat> well, that's got to be. A good luck omen right there. I think so. <laughs> you know. It's just again, it's just indicative of the nature, nature out here. Yeah. I mean there's so much that we pass through. We could have looked at it, all kinds of vegetation and you know wildflowers and so there's a lot to look at. So 
I'm going to, even though this is my first real off-roading video, I'm, I'm going to start a playlist uh, that says off-roading series. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah. As and you can go check out some more areas of Big Bear. Super stoked, man. <clears throat> Super stoked. See, while it's, uh, this used to be kind of a no, this used to be dug out and people used to get stuck here, but they they kind of filled that in. Alright, it's like a little sluice, and this comes down and tees off right here at the end uh, to Holcomb Valley Road, which is, you know, the iconic and historical gold mining area. And if you, to the right here, you see We're done. Thanks for coming along. Yeah. Trail's over? I think so. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I just can't believe what, what we just did, man. So um, let me make sure I can get him in the shot. All right, cool. <laughs> so thank you guys again. Um, as you heard throughout the video, we're gonna be doing a series of this over time. So uh, please enjoy it. I'm glad and blessed I got to do this today. Please like and subscribe, help the channel out. You guys know I put a lot of time and a lot of effort into this. If I've earned it, I'd appreciate it. And thanks guys again, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the Gold Mountain Trail. I'm, uh, I gotta change my underwear, so uh, <laughs> I love you guys, and peace out. Peace out.